Hello, my name is Mayan and I am a completion coach here at Global Training Institute. And today I'll be taking you through one of our test student user portals. So to do this, we'll have to get up the Global Training Institute homepage. And you can do that by searching in Google Global Training Institute and will be the first website that pops up. So you can just click there. Alternatively, you can just search in your address bar globaltraining.edu.au. Once that's loaded, I'll get you to go straight into student login, the tab on the far right, and you'll be given two options. For the purpose of this video, we will be entering the Accelerate login for students enrolled after the 23rd of November 2020. You will then have to put in your username and password. For this video, we are going to be using a test user password. So the username is test.user.2 and the password is global with the capital G. One, two, three. Once you've logged in, you will see your student portal and each student portal is customized specifically for the student. This is a diploma of business. However, if you are doing a diploma of business, it might be a little bit different depending on what you've discussed with our course advisors. Top right hand corner, you will see your initials. If you click there, you'll have some drop downs options available to you, your profile settings, which if you do update any of your contact information, please inform our admin team so we can update them for you. Change password and also a really handy function which is enable night mode, which will just make your screen black, which is healthier for your eyes if you are studying at night. All right, so we will enter into your diploma of business. So once you click there, it will take you to a, your overview of your course. And you'll be able to see that this test user has completed three out of the eight units available to them. And they started on the 7th of August 2020 and they have until the 7th of August 2021 to complete. So all of our courses, we have a default time of one year to complete. However, if you do apply for a deferral or a course extension, that can be added too. If we scroll down, you'll be able to see the units that this test user in, is enrolled into. When you first log on, you, all of your units will be the grey not started colour and you can have a look at your training plan to see which units will be open to you. Once you've actually opened up your unit and had an attempt at submitting, it will be changed to the yellow in progress colour and if you have got a satisfactory for your unit, it will change to be green. In the tab just to the right of the units tab, you'll see course details. So there is a really handy link that we offer to you, which is your trainer's email address will be here. So your trainer's name will be here. And if you click that email icon, then it will actually populate an email for you. So you'll be able to send an email really quickly off to your trainer. Further down, we've got tips for completing your unit. And then further down again, we've got student forms, which you can use throughout the course of your training. I will just highlight two forms in particular. The early trimester completion form is for if you are speeding along and getting your units completed really quickly, you can send this form off to our admin team and they'll be able to open up some more units for you. Also the training plan beginning signature which is one that once you've seen your training plan, which is sent with your confirmation of enrollment, you can come and sign this one just to say that you've seen your training plan and you're ready to start training. The completion forms will be completed by every student at the end of their course, and that will then allow our admin team to process your qualification and send it out to you. All right, we'll go back into that units tab again, and we'll have a look at one of these units. So the support and recruitment selection and induction of staff unit um, is one that actually has had a few attempts already to submit. So we've got uh, the unit of competency overview here, which has some handy information for you. It's got the actual dates of commencement and also of completion for this particular unit. And then also it has that uh, handy email icon but then also some information of how to complete this unit and an introduction which will take you to the Australian government website and will have the unit of competency details. Core learning and assessment will be found in the assessment tab as well as the additional learning resources. So we'll go to that tab now. 
and you'll see there's to do, one assessment item, hasn't had any submitted yet and no results given. So open that up and um, you'll see that this one hey, have actually tried uh, two times and they've got one more attempt to complete. But you'll see that this is how you can access your resources as well as your assessment document. Assessment acknowledgement is simply just terms and conditions for submission. So you'll have to have a quick read of that before you start your assessment document. Um, we'll open up the PDF. We do give you two options, the Word option and the PDF. The Word is really handy because you can just type in your answers. But this is what your assessment document will look like. You'll be given tasks and it's just a matter of completing those tasks one at a time. And your trainer will talk you through those tasks as well. So that's pretty handy. Also, I will point out that it's really important that you do check out the assessment resources, especially if there's any templates available to you, because they will actually help you to complete your tasks. And if you are using the case studies, we've got case study resources there. But just talk to your trainer as to whether you want to use the case studies or you want to use your own workplace for your assessment. The core learning down below is your reading materials to complete your assessment. The learner guide is like your textbook, but your trainer may also send out some more resources to help you along the way. In the additional learning and resources, we have a resource library which comes with every unit and it's just got some really handy resources which you might be interested in having a look at. All right, when you have finished your Word document and you've completely filled that one in, you'll be ready to uh, submit. So there'll be a green button, it will either say resume attempt or it will say start attempt. So we'll click into there and it's just a matter of dragging and dropping your file or files into this box or you can actually browse files and just select them from your desktop or computer. Once you've done that, you'll just have to wait for them to upload. Then you'll click the save button and then you'll just follow the simple prompts and then your assessment will be sent off to your trainer. Great, if you have submitted and you're wanting to see your results, they've come back to you, you can click the results tab. You can see this one came back as unsatisfactory last time this test student, sub student submitted and then there'll be some overall feedback given by your trainer that you can have a look at so you can then update your submission and just add some further evidence that is required. Great, so we'll go back to the home page and I'll just show you one more thing. So I took you the long way around. There is a short shortcuts which are available on your home screen. So you can see that um, this in the assessments to do, we've got three icons there and that was the unit that we were just in earlier. So if you just click there, it will take you straight to that assessment and core learning section. In the recent results, you'll also be able to see the results you've been given. All right, thanks for taking the time to watch this video today. If you do have any questions, you can call us on 1800 998 500 and we'd be happy to answer any questions. Thank you.